How are you doing today, folks? My name is Isha. Welcome to Sunna Aroma Academy. I'm your host, I'm your CEO. Uh, today's lesson, which is lesson 20, is motivation. And motivation, meaning I'm today, this lesson, lesson 20, my job is to motivate you. Now, why is this the case? Why is this so? Okay, you bought the oils already. You got a good wholesaler. You got a table or you're walking around, but some of you may be doing very, very good, but you may have some of you that be like, you know what? I don't think this is for me. I don't think this is for me. I'm not getting no sales. I'm making probably $10, $20 a day. I'm looking to make $120 a day. I'm here to tell you today, don't give up. Keep at it. Continue to try. I guarantee you that if you continue to work hard, continue to put your foot down, continue to give the best effort you could, you would be amazed what you can what you could attain if you just give a hundred percent. Well, even if you just give seventy percent, just try, try to give your hardest. You would be amazed at stuff that you can accomplish. You would be amazed what you can accomplish. Okay? Work hard. Put yourself out there. Let people know what you do. Pass out your cards. There is a technique that I call fishing outside of the lake. I mean outside of the water. And what I mean, fishing outside of the water, water specifically, lakes, ponds, oceans, uh rivers, any type or bodies of water. Fish outside of the water. So what I mean by this concept, because why? Most people that fish, they fish where? Where there's water. No, go where there's not water. What I mean by that, don't just promote your business or advertise your business at your shop. Advertise your business outside of the water. When you want a bus, pass out your cards. When you're walking around, pass out your cards. As a matter of fact, twice. You should take two days out of every month just specifically to pass out your cards. Give your card and have samples on your cards. Pass them out. Pass them out. Pass them out. Pass them out. Sell yourself. Don't give up. Keep trying. You may make $10 a day. You may make $20 a day. Do you really think that Michael Jordan, the best man to ever play the game of basketball, do you really think that this man, he was really that good his whole life? Absolutely not. And I know basketball. People that know me, they know that I used to hoop and I still play basketball. Michael Jordan, did not even, the tenth, his 10th grade year, he didn't even make the varsity. I, I did better than that in high school. I made the varsity my freshman year in high school. My fresh my freshman year of high school, me and a guy named Glenn Day Glenn Daniels, who was actually the center. He was a center at the junior high school that we went to. I was a point guard. He was a, he was a center. When we went to high school, only two people from the freshmen, two people from the freshman class, or the ninth graders, two people from ninth graders actually made the varsity because the competition was so high. Me and Glenn Daniels. Now, guess what? I didn't make the NBA. I didn't even make an one that I wanted to make. I'm not the most valuable player of NBA. I didn't make it. I'm not the best guy to ever play the game of basketball. But guess what? Michael Jordan, who did not make the varsity, did not make the varsity his 10th grade year, now this man is the best guy to ever play the game of basketball. 11th grade year, he made varsity. 12th grade, year, he, 12th grade year, he made varsity. What's the point of reference? What's the lesson from this? He didn't give up. He didn't give up. He continued. He continued on to do what he wanted to do. He said, okay, I'm not going to make the beats. I'm not going to make the varsity this year. Guess what? 
as soon as I leave off this court, I'm about to work on my game right now. I'm working on my shot. I'm working on my post up. I'm working on my speed. I'm working on my hops. I'm working on I'm working on endurance. I'm working on everything. Next year, you guys better watch out because I'm making the team. You have to have that go-getter mentality. You have to be a hustler. You have to be a person that grind. You have to be a person who is, is hungry. You're thirsty. You, you got that zeal. You have to have it. When it comes to the oil business, you have to really want it. Nobody's going to give you anything. I'm sorry if you think that people are just going to give you something. It's a cold world, my man. It's a cold world we're living in. You, if you sitting back and you wait for your family members to give you something, just keep on waiting. You're going to be waiting for the rest of your life. I'm born here in Detroit. I'm born in Detroit. If I'm not mistaken, I left Detroit at the age of six years old. But guess what? I moved down south. Cleveland, Mississippi. And I was, I was raised there pretty much my whole... I just came back here to Detroit 10 years ago. But guess what? When I was raised down south, I never had a job. I never had a car. I, I never was taught how to drive. I didn't, even, I didn't even have an ID. I'm at school. I'm in high school. Everyone else, they ride past me in a car. I don't even know how to drive. I don't know anything about entrepreneurship except from, you know, the streets. Excuse me. Except from the streets. But all of that stuff, whether you believe it or not, it made me stronger. It made me a type of person that Go get it. Go get it. Ain't nobody going. Ain't nobody going. Ain't nobody going to give you anything. You have to go out there and get it. Just like I mentioned in my first video, which was how soon Roma came about. I've been out there where it was a blizzard in Detroit, walking around, freezing outside, and I'm out there selling oils. Got gloves on and everything. Below zero, I'm out there selling oils, homeless, sleeping in the park. I remember it. Sleeping in a homeless shelter, sleeping in a, a, a motel. I remember. But guess what? I didn't give up. And all that stuff, whether you believe it or not, it made me stronger. It made me a stronger man. It made me more hungry. It made me want to give it, get it even more. So that's how you got to be. You can't give up. You have to be consistent. You have to. When you fall on that ground. Get right back up. Dust your shoulders off and get right back up and try again. It's a new day. Don't. And also let me mention this. You're going to have people. That's going to laugh at you. Make sure that you remember those faces. Why? That same person that laughs at you, make sure you stay far away from that person. Why? Because this person is a barrier to your success. And the person who laughs at you, because you're doing, not selling dope. You're not selling no dope. You're not selling no crack. You ain't selling weed. You ain't no prostitute. You're making an honest living trying to be an entrepreneur. That person that laughs at you, keep that person in your mind because guess what? That person is a barrier to your success. That's for one. For two, this person has a very small and minute mind. Very small mind. I can mention to you many people who are successful. Guess what happened? They started off the same way that I'm starting off right now. Actually, alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, I'm becoming better with the sun aroma thing. But I went through some things. I didn't just come to the point where I'm at now. I went through some stuff. I've been doing it eight years. I've been sticking with it. So that's my word to you. Stick with it. Don't worry about what people say. Let them talk. They're going to talk. They're going to laugh at you. Sometimes 
They'll laugh at you for two reasons. Sometimes they'll laugh at you to see if they can break you, to see how weak you are, to see if they can make you stop doing it. The second thing, sometimes they'll laugh at you to see if you'll stop so they can actually do it. Seriously, they actually do it. Be consistent. Continue, work hard, give effort, and don't worry about what anybody say. If they want to talk, let them talk while you just walk and you walk off. And let them talk to, let them talk to your back. Okay, so that's the word for lesson twenty. I'm motivating you guys who are actually buying the oils. You got your table set up. Listen. If you're not making money, continue to continue to try. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. You're going to get a break. You're going to find your big break. But you got to be consistent. And you got to be patient. Lesson 20. Motivation. My name is Issa. Welcome to Cinerome Academy. Thank you.